Hello and welcome to a brand new preview episode for Black on Black Cinema. This is preview episode for episode 79, The Five Heartbeats. Uh, I'm your host, Jay. I'm here with Micah. Hey. And Terrence. What's going on? All right. So we are back. Um, obviously, this is for The Five Heartbeats. Um, that, of course, is the 1991 musical drama film directed by Robert Townsend, uh, who co-wrote the script with Keenan Ivory Waynes. Oh, boy. Um, Wait, what? Yeah, I didn't know that. By the way, this movie is not terrible, so that's sh- a shock to me. Um, huh. The main cast includes Townsend, Michael Wright, Leon Robinson, Harry Lennox, Tycho Wells, Harold Nichol- uh, Nicholas, and, um, and a whole host of other people. So it's sort of a not a true story, but it's sort of like about several different artists all at the same time, like the Dells, the Temptations, the Four Tops, uh, James Brown, Sam Cooke, just a bunch <clears throat> of sort of weird life stories smashed all into one kind of drama. Um, so we'll play the trailer now, and then we'll come back and talk about our topic of the week. If there are hard, there are hard, hard, I think you guys have what it takes to go all the way to the top. A new film by Robert Townsend with a lot of music and a big heart. The Five Heartbeats. I want you on my label. Let's make a deal right now. We're going to go and record our first single. And I want a gold record. They were just five guys from the neighborhood who created a sound that rocked America. Heartbeats. Okay, that was the trailer for the five heartbeats. Um, so moving on from there, we will see you guys next week for that. That should be a lot of fun. Um, now, who I know Rob hadn't seen the five heartbeats. Has anyone else seen this besides me? I have not seen it. Re- yeah, I haven't seen it either. Wow. Okay, that's actually really surprising. Because uh, this is a black ass movie, um, so anyway, we'll we'll be back with that next week. Um, so our topic of the week, our random topic of the week uh, today, is actually two topics. So we decided there were two of them that were pretty important, so that we we didn't want to skip either one. So we decided to talk about both. The first one is the Leslie Jones as uh, as a Ghostbuster controversy that's going on right now, and then the second one is about the Nina Simone uh, film and the fact that uh, Zoe Saldana dons blackface to play the character. So that trailer came out this week and people were pretty upset for obvious reasons. So um, I guess let's talk about the Leslie Jones thing first. First off, the basically the controversy is that her character is very stereotypically buffoonish, black character, loud, um, you know, loud equals funny kind of, she's basically playing herself. There, there is no level of nuance. She's just playing Leslie Jones. And some people were pretty pissed off about it. Seeing a black woman being portrayed that way as she is the only black character in the main cast of this movie, at least. Uh, what did you guys think of what you saw in the trailer for the character? Do you even care about the controversy at all? That's the first question. I, I don't, I don't understand why people are getting, um, too 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 meant out of shape about this like my my only gripe with this is that i just don't think she's funny and um just like i don't think melissa mccarthy is funny uh you could take those two out and put two other funny people in 
and um, I'd be perfectly fine with it. I, I'm trying to understand where people are coming from. Like, are you mad because she's not a scientist or are you mad because she is playing um, the character that she is known to play or are you mad that she's not like a buffoonish scientist because that's what she would be because I can't imagine Leslie Jones has a whole lot of range like I've never seen her in anything super serious so I I have nothing to go on so if you wanted her to be a scientist then she would be like you know the power of Einstein compels you And, and it's just like it would be the same thing so, um, in terms of, uh, in terms of maybe like representation, I mean, look, we, we barely get black women in movies that aren't like specifically catered to black women as it is. Right. So right now I'm at the point where I'll take what I can get. <laughs> <laughs> Terrence, your thoughts. <laughs> I don't care. Like I like there's the argument that she's doing what she does and I mean that's true. I haven't I've seen her on Saturday Night Live. I've watched segments of her stand up. That's what she, she does. She has a stand up? Yeah. I didn't know yeah, she has a stand up. She's a stand up comedian. Like she's well like clips of her doing stand up. I don't know if she has like a specific stand up uh special or anything like that, but I've seen clips of her stand up. That's what she does. I might have to try and find She's no, you don't. No. Um, but uh, <laughs> I <was gonna> <laughs> sorry, I don't. No. I don't think she's very funny either. Like, but she's doing what she does, and a lot of people say, "Well, that's not a good enough argument." Like, that's why they cast her, right? Right. To to play that specific part, like whether she's a scientist or not, I haven't. Like you said, I haven't seen any other anything else that's range wise. I don't know. She could be a very like act, comedians end up being really good dramatic actors because comedy comes from tragedy tragedy. right exactly so she could possibly put on like a really good performance i don't know but it's probably not going to be in this movie so but the the controversy itself i really just don't care like like i said we don't get enough black women in movies to begin with and when we do they are usually stereotypes, right. and that they, sucks. But. When we do get them, they get AIDS from download dudes. <laughs> Meanwhile, Michael Ely's dropping kids out of windows. Like, uh, uh, all right, okay. right. So that on that end, yeah, I I can be a I, I'm a little pissed off about that because it's just okay. She's the big loud black woman. All right, whatever. But like people are saying, uh, this is hurting us. Like, no, it's not. No, nah, it ain't her. It, it, it is what not. it is. Like, you're going to tell her not to do it? Like, that's her job. That's what she does. It's kind of like that thing where are you going to tell LeBron James not to play because a kid got shot in, in, um, in, where is he? What is, in Cleveland? Right. You're going to tell him not to do his job because, oh, this is against whatever. Like, no, like, do whatever. She can do what she wants. I just don't think she's funny. It's basically my stance on it. I don't think ha- half the cast isn't funny. And, and, and the other I don't... half, I don't really know that much about except the one that plays justin bieber in it and snl she's hilarious to me right she's very funny and it doesn't it's not it's not hurting the race you know like it's not it's not uh it's not that serious it's ghostbusters (laughs) it's not people take ghostbusters very seriously apparently i mean god jam (laughs) (laughs) ghostbusters is his life guys but yeah I, i just it is what it is man is. whatever so okay so for me i i think it's a i think it's sort of a multi-prong sort of thing i don't have a problem with leslie jones being who she is right oh she needs to act this way i mean i'm not sarge from a soldier story you know <laughs> um i do think the I, I do think that the race can tolerate her <laughs> we, you know uh whatever the hell that means but <laughs> that's such a great <laughs> line um i you know but at the same time I understand people's issue with that particular type of character, right? And, uh, you know, people going after Leslie Jones, I think, is is misguided. However, I think people asking Paul Feig 
why would you choose? Did you choose Leslie Jones because you chose Leslie Jones? Um, or did you choose her because she fits a character that you wanted her to play, which just happens to line up, right? I mean, that's a, that's a fine line to try to figure out. So if you chose her because like, hey, I like Leslie Jones. She's awesome. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you chose her because like, hey, Leslie Jones can play this buffoonish character because I love a loud black woman. That shit's hilarious. I have a problem with that. Um, but there's no way to know that, right? Like no one's ever, unless you give Paul Feig truth serum, which, you know, is highly unlikely. There's no way to really thread that needle. I mean, but, what if we were able to get a hold of the script? Like if the character's written that way, then that's the issue. Right. And, and look, if I had to be honest, I think that it's probably more of they wanted a character like that. And and it's unfortunate that it just happens to be Leslie Jones, but I think that her being who she is as far as, one, basically being that character all the time anyway in her comedy, because I don't know her personally, so I can't, I can't say, but her being that way in her comedy style and her being on SNL where, you know, Kate McKinnon's on SNL, uh, Kristen Wiig came from SNL and, you know, that, you know, just having that connection, I could see why they would pick her. Right. Um, but I, I don't know, but I, I think there is also a larger issue here, which is how do you thread the needle between allowing black people to play diverse roles, including stereotypical roles and allowing them to, and also not perpetuating those stereotypes. Right. Cause it's not an easy answer. Right. Like I feel like the response to Leslie Jones has been very black and white, no pun intended. Like she's the worst person ever and she's destroying the race or nothing and none of this matters. And I, I don't think that's, I don't think either one of those things is true. Like most things, it's some nebulous thing in the middle. Like, I think it's a little hard to thread the needle between those two. Like, you know, play diverse roles. Okay. Well, I'm going to play a baby mama this time. No, don't play that shit. That's <laughs> fucked up. Like, yeah, but, like, at some point, you got to play that, right? Like, you know, if you're talking about inclusion, you got to have the doctors and the lawyers and the jesters and the cab driver. You got to have the range. You can't just now, all be perfect or all the bad. Problem, the problem with that is, is we've always been the jesters. Right, exactly. So the, so the fact that people are like, we really are tired, where they're tired of saying that. They don't. Like we want to get away from that, but because that's what oh, that's we that's what we've been for fucking ninety years. Right, we're always the joke. Right, we're always the joke. So people, when they see that, it's almost it's it's a knee jerk reaction. Like, really, why do we have to be the, the loud black woman? Right, why? And, that, and, and that's but my... the thing is, there are loud black women in the world that they exist. Leslie the Jones is, is probably one of they, them. That's all that exists in Hollywood, apparent according to Hollywood. Right. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's so difficult because, like, I'm not going to push back. Some people, you know, a bunch of people sent me her tweets and they're like, you know, sent articles with all her tweets. And they're like, oh, this is what Leslie Jones had to say. I'm like, Leslie Jones is defending herself. And I have no problem with her. No one should be attacking her personally about, like, you need to behave a different way. No, she doesn't. Um, as much as I hate this phrase because I think it's overused by, you know, um, people. Who, no, just say like there's an issue. No, 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 not that word. No, not, not that word where, you know, uh. Pee Wee Herman would hold up that little sign and everyone would yell. <laughs> um, not that word because I think, I, I think that is used by people who don't think too, too deeply about anything. Um, but I don't. Um, but I think that I don't like the phrase respectability politics because I think it's, a, it's used as like this weird shield of like, no, you know, you can't ever criticize things. No, you can. And adults criticize things. That's what you do. Um, if you don't like something, you're allowed to say you don't like it. But at the yeah, same, yeah, that's the when Jay and I were talking about this earlier, Dan. It's like that's why they put out trailers so that we can judge whether or not we want to see the movie. Right. Like, so it, it, it's okay to be like, "This looks like shit," and I don't like it. No, you gotta, you gotta let it cook, son. You gotta, you gotta no. give it a chance. You have to see the movie for no. no I don't. I really I don't. don't. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> trailers are literally spoiler alert trailers are a marketing tool <laughs> like that's what they're used for and you go that's two minutes of bullshit i ain't seen it so if you if you do that with any other movie you should be able to do that with a with this movie based on whatever your reasons are you're offended you're not offended 
You think it's funny. You don't think it's funny. Whatever. The same reasons that people want to see it are equally as reasonable in their own mind as people who don't want to see it. Right. So my, my thing is, yes, Terrence, you're right. There are black women who exist like that. And so they, they are a part of society. So we shouldn't pretend that they don't exist. I agree. That's that would be ridiculous. And I also agree with you that people are tired of seeing that stereotype. So when people respond in the way that they respond of, what the fuck is this shit? You shouldn't be surprised. Right. At this point, you're you're surprised that black people don't want to see us shucking and jiving. Especially right. the it, climate that we're in now, like every where everything is scrutinized. Right. Every, it, Everything she could have been a scientist, and then some probably somebody else would have been like, "That's not my Leslie Jones." Right? Somebody it, might have said some shit like that. I mean, I, it, you can't win. You can't win. But also, it look, it also sticks out like a sore thumb. And again, this is not about Leslie Jones personally. This is about the the character, right? Because that's all we can really go on. To be fair, what also is a major problem is she is the only person of color. There yep, are no, I was just about to bring that up, man. There because are that's, no other people of color in this movie. That's uh, uh, the problem is that because she is the only person of color there that we that we know of so far, uh, she has the responsibility of representing <laughs> a, an entire race. And or not even I'm an not entire race. It's, all people of color. You got right. Latinos. You you taking the whole. I'm glad you're big because you better have a big back to carry all this shit on. <laughs> this is and, the truth. And and I'm no one's saying it's fair. It's not. But like that's like that's how the world is, unfortunately. And I just uh, I, I I don't know. So don't actually, know, there there are a couple of other people of color. Just to point out in, in supporting cast, um, Michael K. Williams is in this movie. And uh, Karan Sony, who played um, the cab driver in Deadpool, he's in this movie. Uh, gee, shocking, shocking news. He's a delivery man. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Uh, and then Ernie Hudson's in it because he needs work. Um, so, yeah, I mean, look, it, it's not fair. But that is something that happens when you are a person in the main cast and you're the only person of color. Like... Did it not bother you that there were everyone else was kind of like fairly reasonable, and you're just like, hmm, looking at the script, like this seems a little odd to me. Like it, it, it does to me. But she's also a comedian, and that's the role that she has been playing for years. But to me, it's it's slightly. I I I'm not gonna say like fuck this movie based on this, but it certainly gives me a major amount of pause. It does. It does. I, you know, I wish I could say that's not true, but it does give me a, a major amount of pause. I don't think the trailer looked funny anyway, but then you you throw this on top and it's like, now nah, I really don't need to see it. So Yeah, I didn't I didn't chuckle. I didn't even chuckle at that trailer. I was like, right. okay. I showed it to my wife and and uh she she started she started she started guffawing, so <laughs> So you see, it. yeah, we we gonna see. Oh, uh, well, tell us how it is. I'll, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, I wouldn't. Actually, I don't. I don't. I wouldn't mind seeing it. It's it's um, you know, it, like I said, it looked like Men in Black to me, yes. and I like the first Men in Black. See that that to me is the the worst ringing endorsement. <laughs> like I don't like that movie. <laughs> I don't think that movie's funny at all. Men, women, whatever. I don't care. I ain't seeing it. Um. All right, so let's move on to the Nina Simone uh, controversy this week. This so, is way more egregious in my eyes. Yes. Oh, this is far worse. So, like, Leslie Jones is a is a two on a scale of ten. Yo, this Leslie this Jones. is this is an, a fourteen. Leslie Jones could play Nina Simone. She would be a better <laughs> Nina Simone. <laughs> She would have been Zoe Saldana. She would have been. So, <laughs> so if you don't know anything about this controversy and you've been living under a rock. Um, so Nina Simone, obviously famed singer, by the way, we're doing this movie. Okay. We're doing this movie. Cause I want to see just Zoe Saldana is so amazing in this movie. Is she? Cause she hasn't really been so amazing in anything. So I just like to point that out. We're doing the movie just, just as an aside. Um, so the controversy is Nina Simone, this dark skin, uh, woman, obviously very famous singer. 
um, is played by Zoe Saldana, known light skinned person, uh, <laughs> half half Dominican, half uh, Puerto Rican. Uh, does not identify as black. I saw a video where, uh, and and take this for what it is. I saw a video where she does identify as black, but oh, okay. she was talk, but she was talking about this movie. Oh, mm, so just, just, <laughs> just take it for really, I've seen I've seen videos where she's just like. Hey man, don't put me in a box, man. Like, don't label me. I'm just, I'm just here, man. I'm just here, and I'm this, and I'm that, and I'm it. Like, the word "black" didn't come out of her mouth, but when someone talked to her about this movie, she was like, "Oh yeah, I, you know, I, I identify as American. I identify as a black woman. I identify as no, you, you know don't. Latina. I identify as this and that, and a little bit of everything." Uh, well, mm-hmm. let me read it. Let me read a quote from Zoe Saldana from 2013 before I go to you, Terrence. Um, I find it uncomfortable to have to speak about my identity all the time when in reality, it's n- it's not something that drives me or wakes me up out of bed every day. I didn't grow up in a household where I was categorized by my mother. I was just <clears throat> Zoe and I could have been I, I could have and be anything that I ever wanted to be. Um, and every human being is the same as you. So all of a sudden leave your household and have people always ask you, what are you? What are you? Is the most co- uncomfortable question. It's literally the most repetitive question. Um, it's only repetitive because you just said it twice. Uh, I can't wait to be in the world where people are sized by their soul and how much they can contribute as individuals and not what they look like. Not once did the word black come out of your fucking mouth. Um, but okay. <laughs> Terrence. Look, I watched the trailer and I was genuinely offense, uh, uh, offended by it. Like she's literally playing, she's in blackface. Uh, like I have a dark skinned sister and I used to have, I have conversations with her a lot about, oh, well, I used to, not anymore. But when she was younger, she was the dark skinned girl in the classroom. Um, and unfortunately, uh, by the time she was going to school, we were in the black neighborhood <laughs> by the time when weren't too many white people, but she would be made fun of because she was dark skinned. And I would constantly talk to her about it. Don't let these people um, fuck with you about being dark skinned and so on. So I've had issues, not my own. I'm not the darkest person in the world, but but you're pretty I've dark. But you're pretty dark skinned, though. I'm like I yeah, I'm pretty dark skinned, but I'm not like dark. Like my sister's dark because my father was like dark, boot black, black. as they say. <laughs> Uh-huh. Boot black, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's black as shit. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> like literally. So she she was dark, and like uh, the thing, and the fact that she is a light skinned woman putting on blackface when there are so many other dark skinned actresses that could have played her probably better than she's going to play her or than she has played her. Right. It's, it's not offensive. like she's, It's not like she's a great actress. Like it's it's offensive to me. Like it's very offensive having to deal with that as a brother of a dark skin of, of a dark skinned woman. It, it's it's just offensive in this country. Dark skinned women are treated like shit. They are right. They just are. They really are. And I've never been one to to make fun of people because of their darkness, because of their dark skin. I, I'd never like that. Well, I wasn't like that in school. But this thing, like watching this trailer, literally, it made me it made me angry. Look, I, like it and, made me very fucking upset. I'm I like, mean, he, why, why would you do this? The th- okay, so the director, the writer, and the vast majority of the people who produced and created this movie are all white. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm they looking are. at the director now. She's, <laughs> she's this no, white dude, lady. Dude, Gawker did an awesome article where they tracked down the name of everybody involved and they're like, here's their picture. What the fuck is this? Yeah. And Gawker's white as shit, by the way, just as a side note. Um, (laughs) And even they're like, this is unacceptable. Um, But I would like to point out, one, there are many things I have an issue with, which I'll get to in a second. But I would like to point out, how the fuck did they not get somebody like uh, Edaparo Odaye, who was the the lead actress in Pariah? She's dark-skinned. She's got, like, if you put her and Nina Simone next to each other. If you Google her name, there are pictures of her ne- next to Nina Simone. Dude, they look alike. Yeah. Like, it's same lips, same nose, everything. And same skin tone. Like, what in the fuck? 
You know what's funny? I'm looking at the cast on IMDb, and there's a woman named uh, Nana Ghana. Uh, uh, I'm not making that up, and I'm not <laughs> making like baby noises. Her name is Nana Ghana, and she's credited as musician girl. She looks more like Nina Simone <laughs> than anybody else in this cast. It's like she's a dark skinned woman yeah. with natural black hair, and she's musician girl, so she could probably sing. And yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I just okay. So the blackface part of it drives me crazy. So there, there's there's two responses, and they are as as uh, as you would imagine they would be. There is the black response, which is what the fuck is this? And then there's the white response of I don't see a problem with this. Spoiler alert, if you're a white person and you say that, I need you to just shut the entire fuck up because you don't get it. Because this is how this is how fucked up racism is, is that they don't understand that blackface isn't just about white people putting on black makeup. This is this is still blackface just because she is a person of color. Right. It is wholly unacceptable. And look. You could make an argument, I still wouldn't buy it, but you could make the argument if Zoe Saldana was this amazing actress, like, this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing, and you'd be like, well, all right, I mean, maybe. And I'd still be like, that's some horse shit. But it, she, her best characters are space aliens. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They're from different planets, dude. It's the green alien. Um, dude. A green one and a blue one. Dude. She does some shit. The funny yeah, thing she is... She was an avatar, wasn't she? The funny thing is, her makeup... <laughs> in Guardians of the Galaxy is better than her makeup in this movie. It's better. I'm like, I buy you as a green person more than I buy you as Nina Simone. What the fuck is going on? Like, I'm sitting here looking picture, looking at pictures of her. <laughs> like, this shit is offensive, man. I can't, I can't get over it. Honestly, honestly, to me, this looks like a white person in, in black blackface. Face. Yes! It like looks the makeup like, is that bad. It, you're right. Yeah, it, it's, it's that really that bad. Terrible. It's like it's got that plasticky sheen to it. It's 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 white frat house Halloween party blackface makeup. Like you it know what? You're a hundred percent at right. all. No, it really doesn't. Look, I'm sending you guys both a link uh, in Facebook. Like, look at this picture of the the woman from Pariah and Nina Simone next to each other. Do they have the same lips, same nose, same complexion? Damn near the same look. <laughs> like, just 100%. How the fuck did you not call her? You know why? Because all black people look the same to you. And that's a real... Fu- where, Like, where is the Tyrone on this project? Like, nah, nigga, that shit ain't cool. <laughs> like, where is that guy? Like, uh, we're thinking about Nina Sim- doing a Nina Simone movie. Oh, that's cool. Who are you going to pick? Uh, Zoe Saldana. Nah, bruh. Like, nah. Like, no, unacceptable. How? Like, I just do not get it. And I look, the amount of shade that is, and I, I'm not saying it is a pun, by the way, the amount of shade that is throwing, that is thrown at dark skin, uh, dark skin women is ridiculous. Like, we have a color complex within our own community, we have a color complex in the larger American society and across the world. And the fact that one of the most famous black women in music, in music history, who sung about being black, who sung about, you know, the differences that she, how she was treated for being the way she was and looking the way she looks, right? Because part of Nina Simone's appeal and what made her so special is because she was not, even a skin tone aside, she was not considered a conventionally beautiful person. And she was still incredibly popular. And she was still incredibly vocal about her looks and stuff like that and didn't back down away from those things. And then you go pick this, this woman who looks literally nothing like her and also fills in what into Hollywood's like, oh, this is acceptable, people of color. Like you're 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 dark enough, but you have white whitish features, so we're cool with that shit. Right. Like, you I'm have, looking at you this have fucking a, a, picture that you just sent. What like, the fuck, this dude? Is it? fucked up. Like, <laughs> dude, like it's legitimately could, fucked up. Dude, she like, could be her daughter. Like, it's crazy how much they look alike. I'm talking about the other, the one that yeah, Micah the sent. One, the, the one, one the side by side of Zoe, Saldana, and Nina Simone. Look at look at this shit. 
It's like, Zoe, who are you supposed to be? Uh, I'm a nigger for Halloween. Like, <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? She does look, she looks like she should have two 40 ounce uh, old English bottles duct taped to her hands. <laughs> it's a Halloween, bro. This shit is ridiculous. <laughs> but if you say that this is okay, then what the fuck? To what end, dude? To what end? Shamar Moore is going to fucking play Martin Luther King next? <laughs> 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 what the fuck, dude? I'd rather. Oh, God. I don't like any of it. Like, I legitimately just. I, I don't. I don't understand, man. And it like the facial let's prosthetics get, and shit. Let's get Louis Guzman to play Malcolm X. <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> but I think that's a real problem. I, okay, well, I, I, let me ask a question. Is it a larger problem that she's light-skinned, or is it that she doesn't, until yesterday, identify as black? I don't care what she identifies as. Um, it, it, look, I could say that I am a, a, a Martian, but society sees a black guy. And quite frankly, you know, sadly, it's what society sees you as. Right. Like, that's what that's what they're going to call you. Um, the big problem here is just the casting. I don't have a beef with Zoe Saldana. I think she's an okay actress. Like I've seen some. She's I've seen, okay. Just I've seen some of her movies. Like I'll go see a movie with Zoe Saldana in it. The problem is the the tone deafness of the casting. I can't even necessarily get mad at her for taking the role. I can because someone is like if someone if someone is giving you work. And they pump your head up and say, oh, we want you to play this, this, this icon. You know, as an actor, you're probably going to want to take that. I'm, I'm more upset at the producers of this movie, the casting directors. Like, it's not, it, it, shows, a, it shows a sign of, of just tone deafness that is, uh, uh, it speaks volumes, well, so to speak. Okay. I guess literally tone deaf fucking skin tone deaf <laughs> right. Well, it all up. <laughs> right but but at the same at the same time like you said you know you can't get mad at zoe saldana but you know what if you are going to take the if you're now going to take the mantle as a woman of color you have some fucking responsibility i'm not going to take i'm a black man if i'm an actor i'm not going to do i'm not going to play I, I don't even know like i'm a i'm like a pretty like yeah, as far as like my skin tone, it's like somewhere in the middle, right? Um, but I'm not gonna play like some like super light skin fucking historical figure. Like I'm just not going to because I have respect enough for that person. Um, I don't know. To me, it's what about it, like there I, is a responsibility as a person of color to protect your own fucking history. You know what uh, I mean? Like I that that's my whole thought. And also the directors and the fuck those people. Absolutely. Absolutely not. The only reason why I'm seeing this movie is to talk about talk about it on this show. I wouldn't give these motherfuckers a nickel of my own personal money. Absolutely not. And fuck the director forever. Done. How about who that? is the director? Who gives a shit? <laughs> Cynthia Mort is the director. Yeah. What else is she gonna do? Oh, it doesn't matter. I ain't seeing it. No. I can <laughs> the hold the last a nigga on her star Tom Hanks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what she's. That's her next project. I'm sorry, Terrence. You were saying, what or actually, Micah. Saying? Micah, I think you were doing jumping. Um, all right. I'm just. I'm here to throw out hypotheticals, and this hypothetical doesn't necessarily make sense. Uh, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So we're we're talking about this casting. We all saw Malcolm X. We all liked Malcolm X. Denzel Washington does not look like Malcolm X. He doesn't. Malcolm X was like six four, light skinned, and like a buck ninety. <laughs> and Denzel Washington is like 5'11", 240. 240? Maybe not, maybe not 240 now. Uh, what is he, a linebacker? <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible with weight. But yeah, he doesn't... He I doesn't think he's that goddamn heavy. He doesn't look like Denzel Washington. Now, we don't have... Do we not have a problem with that because he's a stellar actor? Or he didn't put makeup on to make himself right. lighter. Yeah, I think that's it, man. 
I think I think honestly, I think like that's that it. makeup is fuck. Like, if Zoe Saldana decided to play her and didn't put makeup on, first of all, that'd be horrendous casting. <laughs> it already is horrendous casting. <laughs> she just has her but fucking hair hair, hair laid like, down straight and shit. Like <laughs> I'm Nina Simone. Like <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Like I think I think I would have less of a problem, honestly. Yeah, like, of well, first course. of all, this is terrible, but I'm not pissed because you didn't fucking put her in blackface. I mean, like, I'm, this is just ridiculous. But no, he didn't put blackface on. He didn't put light, whatever the fuck you want to call it, light face to play him. Yeah, I mean. And he had a slight resemblance. It's it's a slight, not it, like Nina Simone. <laughs> yeah. At all. Like, it's just, like, everything about this movie is just fucked up. Like, it could be really good as far as acting goes, Look, the, but the nah, thing, man. The thing is, I thought the trailer, after I got over my initial aneurysm, I had to watch it <laughs> twice. I thought the trailer was actually really well done. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be a terrible movie, but that fucking... That, that makeup is making the me The makeup insane. is distracting. If it weren't for the lead actress, this trailer would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they would have nailed it. But, I mean, is... Okay, is there... Is there a way for... Is there ever a time where lights... Is there ever a time where darkening your skin for a movie is acceptable? Or lightening your skin for a movie is acceptable. I just saw a movie that uh, I'll talk about on the next Nerdpocalypse where there was uh, some brown facing going on. Oh, what was the movie? uh, Go ahead. What was the movie? Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Oh, that's why I got in a lot of trouble, huh? Uh, well, I think it got into a lot of trouble for a couple of reasons, but oh. yeah, there was some, there's some brown face. There's some pretty, there's some pretty egregious brown face in coin. Oh, no. God damn. Stop <laughs> doing that. I mean, look, look at Robert Downey Jr. and, um, Tropic Thunder. Right. Did yeah. That shit was hilarious. But, you can well, do it. But the question, yeah, the question is, what is the context in which you're doing it? Right. He's literally making fun of white people doing blackface. Like somehow... Because you're you're ripping on the the system itself, it it makes it more acceptable. But right. when you're a part of the system, and you're going, eh, right? We're all together, guys, right? Like, no, we're not. That shit's on it. It's completely fucked up. Like, I didn't understand when people got mad at Robert Downey Jr. for that. I was like, I don't think you get the joke. Like, he's making fun of racists. <laughs> like, like being completely culturally blind, uh, which I think is acceptable. I look. I don't think there is. Outside of maybe poking fun at the system, I don't know that you can play it straight up by changing the color of your skin ever. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm looking at this picture that you sent. Yeah, yeah, Denzel does have a passing resemblance. He to, does. He does. To, uh, Malcolm X in this. Yeah, so I can't think of one then, guys. <laughs> like I, I can't think of one where it's like, all right, th- this is this ain't good, man. This ain't good. She looks That's like a. Up. Like a frog. It is fucked up, man. It, it is. I just don't understand how you could justify this in your own head as a black actress. Because I think that I think that's the part that bothers me, bothers me the most. Like you knew your light skinned ass wasn't okay with it when they're putting makeup on you. You didn't go. Ah, oh, I look really good. Like no, you didn't. You look like you. You, you look could like not look in the mirror after the however many hours of fucking makeup <laughs> you, you sit in that chair. They sit in that chair for hours, and then you look in the mirror and like, this this is nice. I'm all right with this. <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, nah, man, nah, that shit is unacceptable to me. Like, I, nah, fuck everything about this shit. Like this look, like this pissed me off when I saw that trailer. Like I was genuinely upset about that trailer after actually seeing it in motion. I saw the pictures of her with them. I'm like, are they really doing this? I thought and they were going to cancel it. And see it and see how fucking terrible it is, first of all, I think that's what's killing me. Like, it just doesn't look good. Aside from the fact that she did it, they didn't even give a damn about how good it looked. Right. They, they could have done a better job. They well, could have. Well, apparently, um, Queen Latifah and Paula Patton do not agree with us. Oh, Queen Latifah cool. says, uh, Queen I think Latifah, Zoe- why are you saying it like that? Uh, because she ain't no, <laughs> she ain't no queen to me. Uh, Har- Harley does Quinn. She, does she or does she not eat natural foods? That's all I have to ask. <laughs> Harley Quinn Latifah says, bananas. 
I think Zoe Saldana is a great actress, so I'm looking forward to it. She's of African descent. I don't see why she shouldn't play the role. I just want to see it. Then why did she have to wear the fucking makeup? Like, by that logic, like, any black person can play any black person. Or any brown person can play any any brown person. By that that logic, any white person could play a black person. Yeah. They're from African descent? How far are we going back? (laughs) (laughs) Like, come on, man. Like, I need... Your mama's an African booty scratcher. <laughs> My mama. <Right>. I mean, <laughs> maybe she was. Huh? Um, but, like, that's a silly, that's a silly argument. Um, and, it, and it's preposterous in, on its face. But I, I do want to read another quote from Zoe Saldana in 2013. Quote, I literally run away from people that use the words like ethnic. It's preposterous. To me, there is no such thing as, as people of color because in reality, people aren't white. Paper is white. People are pink. It's a bit ridiculous when I have to explain to to a human being that is an adult like I am that look that looks intelligent, but for some reason I have to question his intelligence and explain. Fucking pink. Um, explain to a human being. Blah 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 blah. I uh, explain to him as if he was a two year old. My composition in order for him to say, oh, I guess I can chill with you. I can work with you. I will not underestimate a human being, yada, yada, yada. But the most important part is there is no such thing as a person or people of color. Quote. That's what she said. Because I, I don't know why we have to explain to people that, like, of course, white people aren't white, right? Yeah, like Black what, people aren't black. actually black. Either. White. You, you dummy like but that is that is what we now chinese uh, people are yellow that's true. uh <laughs> paula patton i'll i'll paula, be putting out a, a response <laughs> paula patton Sorry. says clearly someone thought she was perfect for it she's an amazing actress she's, no, she's beautiful not. and you haven't even given her a chance and you haven't seen it yet, so I wouldn't want to put that kind of judgment on anything that I haven't seen, first and foremost. But most importantly, imagine being in her shoes and enduring that. It's not cool and it's not right. That was a magnificent woman. Zoe is an incredible actress, so give her a shot and try to enjoy and stop judging. Again. <laughs> Thank you. Say it. These things are put out so that we can judge them. Thank you. Like, I just don't... Do people not know what trailers are? <laughs> I don't think they know anymore, guys. I don't think they know. Also... Like, if you don't want an opinion, if you don't want someone to have an opinion on your art, then don't show it to anybody. Right. <laughs> I'm allowed I to mean, be like, like this that's... is bullshit. <laughs> I mean, shit, man. You know, it's art. What the fuck else are you supposed to do with it? Not only that, you know, I can also judge people like, how Paula Patton was married to a dude who couldn't keep his dick in his pants and your weird fucking relationship. So how about that? Oh. You're two tramps. They're both two tramps. <laughs> they, were, they, both two tramps. What? they were. They both two tramps. Um she's, fine. she's still fine though. Um she's crazy though. She's like super crazy. But <clears throat> and super fine. Um but yeah. by her logic she could have played her. They're the, they're the same you. goddamn complexion. What why don't you just why don't you right? just play fucking Coretta Scott King? Fuck it. You know what? You know what? Paula Patton will be playing Marcus Garvey because who gives a fuck? <laughs> She's from Africa. Like, shut up, yo. Like, shut up. <laughs> Grow up. Use some goddamn... In- Use a couple of rocks that are rolling around in your head to, c- to, to, to make a semblance of a thought. Oh, you can't judge it. Yes, I can. I want Paula Patton to play Maya Angelou in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. If this, if this is what we're doing, just fuck it. Paula Patton Why should have not? played Precious because it made sense. <laughs> oh shit! Shut up! What the? F- is there? Is there? Is it the Illuminati? What is it that makes these people so goddamn dumb? Like, did you always believe the stupid shit that's coming out of your mouth? I am confused. Like you, they gotta fucking come to each other's aid, right? I mean, like black actors. Like that's the thing is, but Zoe isn't black. According to her, so what the fuck? Right, like I don't, I don't understand, man. Like this shit is just offensive. It, it just, it is. And if you don't think it's offensive, I don't need fuck to talk you. To you. Seriously, like no, I mean, this is one of those things where I'm not, I'm not gonna listen to your opinion on it. If you think that it's okay, it, I'm not. 
I have I don't want to listen to anything you have to say to try to make this seem right because it's not. It isn't at all. Like it just isn't. Like look, in this case, pun intended, some ca- some cases are in fact black and white. This is one of them. <laughs> exactly. Like <laughs> I'm not going to get into an argument with you about how this is all right. Like well, because she's like that. Really? Exactly. Could you imagine if it's the other way around? Thank you. Like if Thank a dark skinned woman was was playing a a a, a famous like light skinned person, Viola Davis playing Etta James. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? People would be like, would they put her in light skin, or would she just be? No, you know what? Viola Davis, no makeup. Etta James, <laughs> fuck it. Why not? <laughs> yeah, like who cares? Like, come on, man. Michael K. Williams is Malcolm X. Fuck it. Who cares? <laughs> Don't even put glasses on him. He just has the <laughs> Omar outfit on. Like, there are, in acting, if you're going to play people who actually existed, it helps to look somewhat like them. And if you don't look like them, then you don't get cast for that role. You imagine Tyrese as Harry Belafonte. <laughs> <laughs> look, at the same, look, at the same time, at the same time, that's ridiculous. At the same time, I don't like that Chadwick Boseman is playing Thurgood Marshall. No, that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah. That's <laughs> fucking stupid. When I saw him, I'm like, wait a minute, Thurgood Marshall was light as shit. Yes, he was. Chadwick Boseman ain't. <laughs> Chadwick Boseman played fucking uh, James Brown. Yeah, James Brown, Thurgood Marshall, <laughs> like, and, nah, and, that, that and doesn't T'Challa, work. all the same complexion. <laughs> Like none of hey, that works. Jackie like, Robinson. are they going to make his skin lighter for this movie? I hope they do. You know what? If they do, all is forgiven, Zoe Saldana. All is forgiven. And if no one has a problem with it, we'll see. Mm. How the fuck is he going to play Thurgood Marshall? <laughs> <laughs> it makes no sense. I can't wait to see the fuckery. Like, this doesn't make any sense. I'm looking like, at a young picture of Thurgood Marshall, right? circa 1936. This dude looks like pretty Ricky. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at that hair, dude. Come on now. Come Next on. up, uh, Chadwick Boseman will be playing Colin Powell. <laughs> right. They should have gotten Colin Powell. The fuck not. They should have gotten Colin Powell to play Thurgood Marshall. It would make more sense. Like, come this is on. Ridiculous. Chadwick Boseman? Like, that doesn't. They were just like, I don't know. <laughs> He's black. Yeah, like who's making that? Who's making that Thurgood Marshall movie? Some some white dude, probably. I get. I guarantee, goddamn, t it is. It can't be a black person. Like, who would you get to play Thurgood Marshall? Like in this, well, in this Wright. old ass picture, Jeffrey Wright. Y- yeah, you're yep, right. There you go. Yep. I mean, absolutely. I mean, come on. That's the, that when they were like, oh, they're making Thurgood Marshall. Movie. I was like, so clearly Jeffrey Wright's getting a phone call because who the fuck else are you gonna pick? Oh, the guy who played Jackie Robin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, you got to be in the board and we're like, wait a minute, what? Like, no, like, but... Like, like this, five shades darker than It's like, ah, this guy's hot. Like, like this this guy is... Uh, this, this guy's in everything. So, uh, yeah, we'll do it. He's the Negro of the moment. He is. He is. You're man. like, no. Even... And this is a thing. Like, as as Chadwick Boseman, what do you say? I would be like... Really? What? <laughs> really? That's what I'm saying. Like exactly. Someone, someone's like, offering what? him work, man. Like someone's offering him work. All right, he I get. Wasn't it. Gods of Egypt, dude? Reginald Hudlin is directing that Thurgood Marshall movie. Oh man, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. How, how, bro? How? I don't. Mm. None of this is right. This dude directed House Party and Boomerang, and, <laughs> and you're gonna put. All right, man. Look, good night. <laughs> like, good night. Imagine good Marshall just going out with a bunch of women, and then he finally finds one that's built like a lollipop, and all of a sudden he's like pussy whipped, and you got to get like another judge to tell him, "Don't be pussy whipped. Whip that pussy." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I trust Reginald Hudlin to do this movie. Like, I don't. Like, I, I don't. Is he going to talk about, like, how he has a mushroom ring and, like, a mushroom belt? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> no. You know what? I'm done. Good night. You know, this episode is I over. mean, you could have got Terrence Howell to play Thurgood Marshall. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm officially done. Yeah. <laughs> Next time.
next time, baby. Like, no, but the court case is today. Next time. It's going to be next time. Ugh, no. All right. You know what? It would make more sense to chat with Bozeman at this point. Yes, it would. I it mean, actually would. Actually it kind of would. God damn, damn it. it. <laughs> exactly. I He'd have to put face. on 35 pounds, but you know what? It, he's an actor. He can do it. I believe yeah. in him. Whatever. All right. Good night. I Look, <laughs> the, thought, the thought of that doesn't mean anything. Look, we will be back when when the trailer for Marshall comes out, because I will be equally as pissed at how ridiculous that casting is. It makes no sense. But he'll probably win an Oscar, so it's fine. Uh, all right. We will see you guys next week for another episode, which, of course, will be on The Five Heartbeats. Later, guys. See you. Take it easy. Yeah. 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 yeah.